In this session, we're going to take a sneak peek at the new ClickSeps function for SimpleSeps Raster. This is new functionality to be released within the next week to 10 days. Those of you that have bought into SimpleSeps Raster at the $249.99 price will get this upgraded functionality for free. However, within a few days of releasing this functionality, I will raise the price of the SimpleSeps Raster program. SimpleSeps Raster and the new click steps functionality is something entirely new in the industry. It's unlike anything that we've ever seen before relating to color separation for bitmap and raster images in the screen printing industry. The reason being is if you look at all the other plugins in the market, they're all set up so that you get these different layers and even our fully automated system for color separation does that. But nothing has ever existed before like the new clip steps, click steps function. And you know, you get all these different layers and channels, and you got to go through, tweak everything. So, some colors you're going to use, other colors you're not going to use. Well, what ClickSeps does is it takes us to an entirely different level of ease relating to bitmap color separation for the screen printing industry working in CorelDRAW. And this functionality, as I said, does not exist anywhere else. It's never existed before, but it's so easy, even a child could do it. And it gives you the ability to literally, in a matter of seconds, pull colors, pull your black, and things like that, and then set up your separations in a very custom manner. Instead of being limited to the 8 or 7 or 12 colors or whatever those plugins generate, and even that that we have in our automated system for simple steps for raster, you're able to actually pick the colors you want and just pull those instantaneously directly in CorelDRAW. Let's take a look at this. Now, as I said, this has not been released yet. We're still in development. This is just a sneak peek, and you'll see this available for the simple steps raster here in the next few days. But Go ahead with this Budweiser logo. You know, typically you get a file like this from a client. We can see that this is a bitmap. You know, the first thing you're thinking to yourself is, oh, now we've got to get this vector trace. Now, this is a very complicated file. You could recreate it or get it vector trace, but if you don't need to and you could do it as easy as I'm about to show you, then you realize that working with the new ClickSeps function is going to be a huge time saver and very beneficial to your business. It's also going to take you to the next level as a designer and color separator in CorelDRAW. I want to go ahead and take this. We'll hit Control C and I'm going to go here and insert the page after I'll hit Control V. Now I'm going to go here to the advanced tools with a simple steps raster and I want to take a look at the new click steps tab right here. And what I'm going to do is the first thing I want to do with this is I want to analyze what colors I'm going to be dealing with. This is just going to be a simple color separation but I want to see what colors I'm dealing with. Say we're going to print out a white so we, I'd say we're going to have a black, a red, and a tan color. Very easy to do. I'll come up here to click steps under the simple steps reaction and I'll click on the pull all color tab. And you can see boom instantaneously I can see all the colors that I have. I've taken the black out and I can see all the colors that I have in my design. At this point what I want to do next I want to go ahead and pull my red. Now watch this. Something never seen before in the industry. As easily as taking the eyedropper tool, coming over, clicking on my color, and then coming over here and clicking on pull selected color. And within a second, I've had my red pulled out and the separation is set up. Now that would be my red. I'm going to go back to page two. I'm going to zoom in here on this tan because I want to get a good mid-range of this tan. I'm going to come over here to the eyedropper tool and I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to click on that. And then I'm going to come up here and click on pull selected color. And now I've pulled that color. I'm going to go back to page two, very simply here. Now when we do these pulls of color and black, we actually just duplicate on top of the original object. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to click on pull black. And that will be my black. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to go back to my generate separation tab. I'm going to convert these all to a monochrome. We'll just see how accurate these color separations are that we're literally able to put together here in less than five minutes. I'm going to go ahead to a monochrome convert here. I'll select OK and we'll let that process. Take just a minute to go out the photo paint and then come back as a perfect monochrome. Now there's my black. I'm going to go here to page three. I'm going to go ahead and click on monochrome convert. I'll select OK and we'll let that process. And that would be that tan color. And that's finished. I'm going to go to the red here and we're going to go ahead and monochrome convert that. Select OK and let that process. Now that's finished. I'm just going to go ahead and select this. I'll go ahead and close my simple steps raster. I won't need that anymore. We'll right click and change this to a red. Go back here and we'll right click and change this to let's say a tan color. Kind of matches what's going on with the logo there. Something like in here. We got a tan in here. 
I want to change that to a tan color that's going to match like a sand color. And actually, I'll go ahead and get that from the original image here. I'll go back to page one. We'll just go ahead and duplicate this over here, then we'll go back to page three because I really need to match that color. And I want to go ahead and I'll get the eyedropper tool again. I'll just come over here and click here. And then I'll come over here and I'll look for the edge where I can change the outline of the bitmap color. And we get in here. And right when we change here is when I'll go ahead and change that. And there's that color there. And we'll go ahead and delete this. And I'm going to take this and hit Control C. I'm going to go back to page four. I'm going to hit Control V and paste that in. I'm going to go back to page two. I'm going to get my black, Control C, go to page four, hit Control V, paste that in. You can see that here, literally in a matter of minutes, I've recreated this and I could now output this. Let's take a look at this against the original separation. We'll go back to page one, go ahead and hit Control V and paste this in. And we'll set these up side by side so we can see the comparison. And you can see here, that well this red is a little bit different than this red I could actually take that red and copy that in there but I was just using the standard red I probably want to get the exact color number for this red and use that but you can see here that I have pulled absolutely perfect color separations using the click steps technology from advanced t-shirts.com in the simple steps raster of this bitmap image literally in a matter of minutes so that's our new click steps functionality never seen before in the industry of screen printing making raster image color separation as easy as possible. So simple a child could do it directly here in Corel Draw. So we'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next session. As I said, this is a sneak peek. This feature is not available yet in Simple Steps Raster. However, it will be within the next week or so. And if you get in now to $249.99 price, you'll get the update of the Simple Steps, Click Steps functionality absolutely free. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and raise the price. So go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next session.